Welcome to ETF Leaders, powered by New York Stock Exchange. I am Laura Krieger, Editor-in-Chief of ETF Trends and ETF Database, and I am joined today by Garrett Palalela, Managing Director and Portfolio Manager for Harvest Volatility Management. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. So wonderful to have you here. So, do you have a favorite ETF in your lineup? Pick your favorite baby. <laughs> sure. Uh, so we do. It's a suite of products. Um, they are a risk managed income. Mm -hmm. um, they are. Uh, we are the sub advisor at Harvest Volatility Management and in partnership with uh, Nationwide. And the products are um, created to deliver a alternative source of income in a very challenging income oriented environment. As we all know, you know, fixed income has been very challenged. Uh, equity volatilities are quite high. And for us, we want to develop a product that could uh, deliver a consistent monthly income for the income-oriented investors. So I know that you're having conversations with investors and institutions and advisors. What's the chatter? What are you hearing right now from them? A lot of concern, right? General risk, um, increasing cash allocations, concern about obviously rate hikes, uh, volatility in the fixed income market, uh, which is also significant volatility in the equity markets, and they're striving for income, right? It's a very challenging income oriented uh, market right now. Fixed income has you know, negative real returns um, when you're including uh, principal reduction. Uh, and looking at what you're getting out of your bonds and your fixed income coupons. And so they're just generally trying to find alternative ways to meet the needs you know, of their clients, of their retirees. And so income is just a, a big question. It's a question about risk and volatility. How do you uh, obtain income you know, with managing the risk in the overall portfolio? So it's, it's been income for us. We've just heard it you know, left and right from all investors, small and big. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So. <laughs> is income the biggest challenge, or getting income the biggest challenge facing investors in 2022? You know, it is, but I also think it's managing risks, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of retail investors, a lot of end investors, we speak with most of the financial intermediaries, financial advisors, right? And for them, it's a challenging market to just manage risk for clients. Mm -hmm. You know, they're concerned, they're, they're used to seeing their accounts go up for the last 10 plus years. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you get into these types of environments where your entire 60-40, your entire asset allocation isn't working, so you're losing money on your bond side of your portfolio, you're losing on your equities, right? They're trying to just manage uh, comfort and risk for clients. And so I think it's definitely volatility and risk, um, but then it's trying to meet the needs of, of what they are to pay their bills. and. You know, now inflation, you know, this year is obviously is a, is a big conversation, which is what drives a lot of the income discussion as well as, you know, how do I meet my income needs, you know, especially with rising inflation. Well, so how should investors meet those income needs? Yeah, so for us, we're really excited about the nationwide risk managed income suite. Mm -hmm. um, the, those products were de uh, developed specifically to meet the income need lower volatility uh, overall in the portfolio, but deliver people a, a tax efficient um, or seeks to have a tax efficient income on a monthly basis to help augment their portfolio, not only from their fixed income side, but from their equities and use the products as an ability to be an entire portfolio enhancer. So we're really excited about the partnership with Nationwide. Uh, they've been a fantastic advisor and partner uh, in these products. So we'd love to speak with more people about it. That's wonderful. That does sound very exciting. Thank you so much, Garrett, for joining me. This has been ETF Leaders powered by New York Stock Exchange. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.